Hello folks and welcome back to my video YouTubes. If you're new here, I'm Carolina. I live in Brazil with my husband and a little dog named Kinara. And uh, I started to play the violin as an adult six years ago. In this channel, I share with you my violin routine, my hobbies, some nerd things, and uh, a little bit of my life. And I hope this can inspire you. So, if you like this kind of video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to help it to grow. And uh, you can follow me on Instagram too. It's been a while since the last time we will be talking like this, haven't it? I haven't uh, finished editing the vlogs yet because I have a lot of material recorded. So, since I'm back in Brazil, I decided to show you my violin collection. I only have two violins and uh, I don't know if we can consider it a collection, but uh, they are very special to me and uh, I would like to talk a little bit about them too. Lumiere was my first violin and uh, it was a gift from my friend uh, and now brother-in-law, Ricardo. Lumiere is a simple student violin from Michael Brand and it has tailpiece, pegs, fingerboard and trim rest in black wood and a gloss finish with reddish translucent varnish. I'm using Pro Arte strings on this violin now. A interesting fact about this violin is that it never saw a luthier before. At the time, I didn't know anything about this professional, do you believe it? The year was 2013 and uh, I watched uh, Lindsay Sterling's The Lord of the Rings music video and I uh, was in love with it. I showed uh, Lindsay's channel to all my friends and Ricardo said me, if I give you a violin, can you learn how to play it? And I was like, what? Of course! But uh, do you have one? So he went to my room and uh, brought me this violin and uh, my violin series began. Another friend, Luciano, who is a violinist, started to give me free classes, but we were in the last year of our college, so I didn't have many classes with him and I put the violin aside. But why did I name it Lumiere? Well, Ricardo started to learn French more or less at this time, if I'm not wrong, so I thought it would be interesting to call it the Zuri. Study violin in 2016, and uh, six months later, my husband gave it to me, Perrin, my current violin. Perrin isn't a luthier violin, but it belongs to the professional line of Eagle Brand. According to the manufacturer, 
This is a professional classic aged violin, handcrafted with noble woods, with a solid sprouse body, with maple in the side and back, and its other components in ebony. I'm now using the Darius Asante strings on it. And why berry? Well, my husband and I are big fans of uh, Tolkien's work, and uh, since we started dating in 2010, I'm a big Tolkien and he is my berry. So, since it was a gift from him, I call it berry. And this is the long and the short of it. Baron has already visited some luthiers in the last six years, but uh, since the pandemic started, I haven't taken it uh, in for maintenance, so it isn't at uh, its best shape. What is the story behind your instrument? Do you also usually name it your instrument or it's just me? Tell me in the comments, I'm very curious to know your story. I hope you enjoyed it to know a little more about my violins. And before you go, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, please. See you in the next video. Bye.